Welcome to House Flipper 2. It says continue game on here because I played the demo and I believe they've carried on progress. But what we're going to do is we're going to start a fresh game. We're going to start a brand new game. And just quickly before we jump into it, I've got to give a massive thank you to the devs and to Keymailer for hooking me up with the key to this. And uh, let's jump in. Yes, I'm not too fussed about the progress. I barely made any. So let's see exactly what House Flipper 2 is all about. Let's see what this game's like. I absolutely love the first one. Okay, here we go. We're waking up. Turn that alarm off. I absolutely hate alarms. We've got like tutorials on how to deal with all the keys and stuff. Snap to grid, precise placement. Uh, so how do we answer that, Zed? Hello there. Look uh, hello, Tom. To message me after all these years. So you're interested in house flipping, and you came back to good old Pinnacove to find a job like that. Um, yeah. Oh, so the renovation you asked about wasn't just an example. You actually wanted to work on the Driftwood House. Well, then, I'm afraid I don't have good news for you. The town council put turning it into a community center on hold. Nobody knows at this point. It all started with some financing issues. But then, things got more complicated. After the first crew left the renovation half finished, someone named it the ugliest house on this side of the coast. It quickly became a new tourist attraction. You know, great for a funny social media post. Of course, the locals aren't thrilled about the whole situation. They would rather have a proper community center. Yet the town council have decided to keep it as it is for now. Uh, which one do we go with on this option? Then your lucky your old friend is a real estate agent. I can offer you a job similar to house renovating. What do you say? I say yes. Love the enthusiasm. Check your email for the details. I'll send them there. I'm so glad we're going to work together. Take care. You better be giving me a good pay. Press tab, open emails. Remember to check there often for new jobs. And uh, what is with this zebra and bird wall? This is disgusting. Absolutely filthy in here. We have to press tab and go to the emails. I like the layout of this. I've been tasked with selling this little house, but right now it's totally a mess. I need someone trusted to help me clean it up. I worked with a new interior designer for the first time and last time. She over-decorated the house and left the windows open to let the fresh air in, which wouldn't be that bad if only a raccoon didn't take it as an invitation to pay a visit. The aftermath is in the pictures, so if you're looking for a chance to flip a house, this one really needs it, but overall, simple job, easy money. Welcome back to town, Tom. Let's begin the job. I'm looking forward to this. I don't know what to expect from any of it either, because in the demo, we had like this beach house that we had to deal with, and I'm hoping they fixed it. There was an issue with things falling through the floor every now and then. So this is what you should know before you start working. A yellow means that there are quests nearby. Different quests require different tools. It's I'm guessing that's right mouse to open the tool menu. Look around for a book with Bessie the Beaver. Open it by pressing E, read some tool tips. And then press Q to activate your flipper sense. It lights up every quest objective related to the tool you're using. So we have hands, flipper tool, collecting trash, and cleaning. Nice. So what are we going to need? Collecting trash. Yeah, highlights it all. I like it. I, I don't really want to be reading them books if I can avoid it. There might be some things I need help with. But I'd like to say that I'm pretty much a veteran when it comes to this game because I completed number one. Can we... Hold up. If I get my hands out, pick up the bin, and we put it back here, and then can we actually put these in? Yeah, there we go. Cleaning. Yes, clean the floor. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So back to collecting trash. There we go. I think when we find a book, if we pick the books up and we place them on the floor near the path, then we can't lose them, but we know that they're all uh, nearby. Like we, we know exactly where they all are. So we've done the trash and the stains out the front. And if we now... 
So you can open up your quest by pressing... It actually highlights what you need. So for trash, that's trash. We're going to pick that up. So hands, pick it up. Can we... Oh, we're not allowed to sit it up there. So just put it over here in the corner. There we go. And then we're going to need the cleaning tool. No, not the flipper tool. Cleaning. Get rid of all this mess. And then get rid of this as well. And then we've done all of this area. So we move indoors. And this is... It's a, a real big mess. So if I start with the cleaning... Try and get rid of all of these marks. It says there's 19 stains. Oh, 56 in this room. I like it how there's like a cloth for the floor. There's a brush for the surfaces. Is that all of them? No, two more stains. Where are the stains going to be? On the wall, maybe, somewhere? No. It's not these, is it? No, this is a different area. Under the table, possibly. We'll leave them for now. Unless... Oh, there. Found them. So we need to collect the trash, pick all this stuff up. I like the flipper sense. Oh, we filled up a bag. And I like how when there's multiple objects in close proximity, you can pick them all up. How many more? Oh, okay. We need to sell these. Did I not pick that up? Let's pick up this bag. Put that out there. No. In the bin you go. Pick this up. Put it back up on the side. Oh, there's a little bit further back. There we go. I don't think I want to do everything perfect, at least at the start. What is it we need to sell? Have I rubbish? Like, have I bagged up the things I need to sell? Oh no, I've I've already sold them. Okay, don't worry, this room's done. But what I am gonna do is pick that up, nice centerpiece. Oh, we can actually leave the plate there because there's three chairs to that table, so that section's done. In here we have quests. We're going to collect trash. So if you pick up the trash, it automatically sells the stuff, I'm guessing. And that's fine by me. If it is all this area classed as one. We found another book, so let's quickly put that outside. And it don't matter which way they face. Pick this up. And uh, put it there. Get out the cleaning tool. If I remember correctly, in the first game, your very first job was always to go and fix a radiator in a house. I like how they've chucked you in with a few more jobs in this one. There's a lot of the Oh, there's a TV destroyed. I love how they have different tools for different areas that you're cleaning. You can finish the job. I don't want to finish the job now. Your client's happy with your work. You can finish it and get paid. Uh, but note that you have one star out of three. If you keep going, you'll get more, make your client happier, and earn even more.
So I'm not sure if that's most of the... Yeah, we've got three stains left. One left. Oh, no. Here we go. There we go. Clean the window. I love window cleaning. It's so satisfying in this game. That's that done. So now if we... Nice, we can actually put those on the windowsill. Turn the TV around. Pop it back up on the unit. We can actually read the papers. Is looking a lot more presentable. Can we pick that up? We can. It's saying we've got to sell six things. Wait, what do we have to sell? Tab. That's on the wall, that's on the wall. There's another fish thing. Oh, here we go. And then what was the last one? That's over here. There we go. So that's those quests done. We can sell all of this. Four things left. So in this area, we need the wheel, two of those, and another pike on the wall. That's everything sold there. So what else did it say? Oh, we've done this area. So let's get out the cleaning tool. I'm wondering if we're going to get upgrades for our tools and stuff in this one. Like we did in the first game. We've got five grand now. I can't believe a raccoon made all this mess. Uh, clean the window. Nice and sparkly. I don't think I'm. I think I'm just going to do the necessary things. So I, I think if there's stuff on the floor, I'm not necessarily going to pick it up and put it in a neat place. Just because we don't have to. Is this room done? Yeah. This is all done. Stains. There's one more stain. So that's done. What about in here? Sell four items. One. Two. Three. Four. That's three stars, right? It only show it shows you room by room in the quests. But I'm pretty sure that is three stars. We've done everything. So in the store you've got all the different things. Oh, there are perks. Oh, look at this. This is neat. And so cleaning. Cleaning stains gets well faster. So hold up. That top one's still going. So when it resets, yeah, look at how much quicker that is. You're the fastest cleaner. Cleaning spray is added to your arsenal. Makes it even faster. Covers a bigger area with a single use. Quicker than ever. Then collecting, it fits more trash. Losing none of their durability. Clear from a bigger area. Oh, okay. Oh, even if you remove a sellable item with the trash bag, you earn 100% of its value. There's painting, surface finishes, the flipper tool. You can duplicate items. Oh, that's cool. 
You can copy item style or any set. I like that. Look at that. You can change it. Every piece of furniture may become a masterpiece. Flipper skills. You can sprint carrying something. Highlight things for longer. Even longer. Your flashlight shines light in a bigger radius in case you choose to work overnight. Two buyers to choose from. You have three buyers. You can earn more from selling houses. And then even, um, yeah, earn even more. Okay, I like the idea of the perks. So if we... How is it we end the job? Uh, shift, enter. So we earn 2100. That's a three star. We did everything there was to be done in that house. It's just the beginning. We got our first steps. I would clean this place up, but I'm not bothered about this at the moment. So we've got 2,600. If we use this... Hello again. Thanks for your help last time. Since you did so well, I've got another one. Unpacking her stuff. So cozy. Could you do the unpacking for me? Fair enough. Let's go and unpack some bits. This game looks really good as well. Move that over to the side. There's just clean in here. I think I might just leave the books in there. Bound spots. I don't think I'm really going to need to use them. Is that this outside bit done? Yeah. In we go. Oh, we're getting a call from June. Hi, June here. You are my unpacking person, right? I am at your service. That's so nice of you. You're about to improve my life so much. I... Mm, I couldn't find time to do the unpacking yet. Oh, and the thing is, I'm calling to apologize for the state of the place. It's a bit messy. <laughs> I didn't expect Tom would find help so fast. I didn't even think about cleaning up on my way out. Or, you know what? Since you're already dealing with my stuff, maybe you could clean the house as well? You're a true angel. You know that? Wow. I can't believe I'll come to a clean, organized house today. No more living out of boxes. Yay! Thank you so much for everything. Have a wonderful day. Bye. She has a nerve. Oh, the whilst you're unpacking things for me, because I can't be bothered to do it for myself, could you come along and clean my house for me too? Unbelievable. I mean, I don't mind. It's kind of my job to do it. But she's still got a cheek. Where's your bin? Oh, that's not... Oh, here we go. Do I... Have to, oh, I might as well remove that. There we go. Throw a trash bag into a bin three times in a row. I never expected that to be an achievement. There is so much mess. How are you living like this? No more for me to pick up? It says there's 11 things. Oh, okay. You got a collecting trash perk point. I'm definitely equipping that. So, it says 0% keep collecting trash. The bigger the better, your trash bags fit more. There we go, we've just unlocked that. We can fit more in these bags now. I like it. And we've got a little meter at the bottom left. That uh, shows us how full the black bag is. Unpack the boxes. How many things are... You've really got cubed units. Can I throw this in the bin? I can't, can I? I'm just placing the open boxes outside. 
And I think what we're going to do is... I can't place any more. I'm going to have to, yeah, put them here. There we go. That'll do for the unit there. Open up this one. Take out the item. I like this, the unpacking stuff. She's unorganized, so I'm going to be... Oh, you closed... Oh, okay. There we go. The boxes disappear when you close them. Yeah, she's not organized. I'm not going to fully organize everything for her. She didn't ask me to organize it. She asked me to unpack it. There's a very big difference. I'm guessing she won't... Actually, I will... I won't be too bad. There we go. Okay, I'm afraid on that one you're going to have to do something on your own. And I'm going to leave those at an angle just to annoy her. What's that? 101 uses for dough, tomatoes, and basil. Okay. Can I close that? Oh, she had takeaway boxes and everything over there. And she's wanting to unbox all this stuff. How was she supposed to do it? That's all the boxes done besides this one. That's all of them done. Oh, you are joking. This woman's disgusting. More trash. Oh, she's happy. I can finish the job. I'm not going to. It's just picking everything up now. I have no idea what all this stuff is. And that sit up on there. Oh, that's... Oh, see, I say that I'm not going to organise it. That's going to really irritate me. There we go. Close that as much as it can be closed. I put the candle in the wrong place. Yeah, she might not like me for standing on her bed, but I don't really care. Ta-da, we've got two stars. Well, at least there's no rubbish in this one. Gotta love a rubber duck in the bath. She's got makeup. Like, she's out for the day, and she hasn't bothered with her makeup. Like, she's she's obviously used some, because she's got little bits. There's, like, perfume and stuff. But she's left most of it in a bloody box. Is that us done? No? What else do we have to do? Oh, is this the last room? We've done everything, have we not? All the stains. Trash and unpacking the boxes. Done it all there. Done it all in here. 
Oh. I need to sell one thing and trash. Okay, so this is the last thing in this house. We've got the three stars at the top there, on the right-hand side. So, get our hands out, shift, enter. We earned just under two and a half grand for that one. So, yes, finished job. And if we accept that, we're going to find out what the next job is. So, if we go to there, we have two emails this time. I have a new quest for you from Robert, and then my ex-roommate's mess broke me. How are your adventures? You're on fire. I even advertise your services on Greg's list. We're leaving the family home to you. Take care of it. Having fun on your travels. Big abandoned house on the beach. It's going to be a community center. Oh, that's what we spoke about with Tom at the start. Saying that they decided to not go ahead with it. We've got to do... We're only 83% through cleaning to get the first upgrade on it. And I like how it's not like, oh, earn this amount of XP by doing these jobs. Level up and then unlock a perk of your choice. It's the more you do something in the game, the more you're going to level up that feature. And I really like how they've set that out. So, in we've got two new jobs to do. Transform the forgotten dungeon under our living quarters and then clean up the uh, bedroom. And you get pictures of what the houses look like in the top corner. But we've got 5,100 coins. I, I don't know what the currency is actually called in this. And I'm not going to bother with this until we have more money. And I mean, that's if I decide. I might wait until I'm like really far in with the upgrades of the tools and stuff. Just to make things faster. And I might do this place up in my own time. I might just focus the let's play on the actual missions and stuff themselves. And renovating houses that we're going to sell on the market. But what we're going to do is leave that there. That was part one of our let's play for House Flipper 2. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.